In this video, we're going to go over some of the basic functions and features of PC DMS. So the window on the left is my edit window. That's where all the programming code is going to go and where I can move around my cursor so I can edit and add to the code. On the right side is the graphics display window. And that's where my CAD model shows or where my measurements are going to show up if I'm offline, or excuse me, on a machine with, the, with an actual part. So the main files you're going to use, these drop downs, the view is where you can toggle between the graphics display window and the report window, which we will see later. The insert file is where you're going to do most of your programming. So here's where we're going to create and recall alignments. Our dimensioning is going to be here. Uh, constructing features is going to be here, so we're going to spend a lot of time there. So it, most everything is going to be inside that insert drop-down field. We're not going to do too much else with any of the other file menus. Turning the probe off and on, so this turns the probe mode on, or program mode, so I actually have a program. When I do that, it's always going to want to put the cursor at the end of the file, so I can just say yes. PC Demos is very cursor sensitive. And this turns the probe off so I can translate back and forth. Again, PC Demos is very cursor sensitive, so wherever I place my cursor is where it's going to activate or inactivate different features. So you can see where some of these are grayed out now when I put my cursor at the top of the program. And as I move down, now they're active. And you can see that trihedron move around as I cursor through the edit window. So PC Demos is very cursor sensitive. So on our top toolbar, we've got some features. We've got the alignment, the program name, where this is the uh, probe, current active probe. This is the probe rotation, our work plane that we're going to talk about later when we start measuring some 2D features. The file menus, we're going to, where we're going to go to import our CAD model and where we do our printing. And those are the basic features of PC Demos. So we're going to go through a little bit of the PC Demos code. So just as an example, this is a plane that we measured. It has the XYZ location of that feature, and then it has the XYZ location of each one of those points. And then we have a line that we measured, and it's a line in two points in the Z plus work plane, and we have the XYZ location of those points. And then we have the single point that we measured and the XYZ location of that, the alignment that we created, First circle that we measured has the X and the Y location, the Z location, the IJK, and the diameter. And we know it's a measured circle with three points in the Z plus work plane. And this is where we recall that alignment to dimension and measure other features. And then we have the X and Y location of each one of those diameters that we measured. And the points and the lines and the spheres, everything is there. And we know how many points we measured with each one. This, for an example, this sphere, where we have the x and the y location, the diameter, and how many points we used to measure that sphere. And then we have all the reporting results. So a very basic example of PC Demos code.